slowly. There's the lifting dial. If you can get a little bit more elevation so we can look down in yeah. that uh, slot. There's a locating dial and the, uh, I don't know what I want to call that thing, the slot for the lifting beam to engage. A little elevation above okay. the uh, top of the thing we can view down and get away from this guy. A little we bit. confirm that that all looks to be in order. This doesn't look to be any deformation. Pin looks solid. If you can you pivot want? around and, and look down into the, uh, get a little bit more elevation so we can see the pin, that, that engagement pin that's down in that hole. That's it. And that's the side that's going to engage the uh, the beam dog. And you can see that that's that paint's gotten looks like it's gotten distorted, mushed. Right along here, this ridge. Yeah. On the, on the side right here of that pin? Yeah. yeah I can Flip. Because this is a side that was engaged when they pulled it and the beam bent. So this thing got. The paint was no match for it. What? Seems to be okay. Yeah. Structurally, yeah, it looks fine. There's the other one. All right. All right. Yeah. Significant damage to the, uh, the to the pin, to the guide pins, or the the lifting um, pins inside. There should be no trouble attaching the lifting beam um, in that regard. It is interesting to note that we have a significant amount of flow going down through those holes, mm -hmm. and otherwise could see nothing along the guide slots, along the base, or along the seam between the two stop logs that would lead us to believe there's any problem that would prevent the logs from being lifted out of position. So that's pretty much the conclusion. Okay.